Welcome to the final video of this series of tutorials on Google Earth Engine. Uh, in this video, uh, we'll be covering the import and export of any sort of raster or vector data uh, from the Google Earth Engine platform. We'll start off by creating a new file within our project and rename it to test3. Right, so here is our new file. Alright, so if we go over to this uh, assets tab of our interface, we can see that there are currently no assets uploaded in this project. Right, so it says this folder is empty on both the cloud assets as well as the legacy assets. So what we can do is click over here on new and import any uh, image or any table if you want the image will be in the form of a geotiff format or tf record and the table uh, if any needs to be uploaded in the form of shape files uh, and these shape files have to be accompanied with the dot shx and the dot dbf files as well uh, otherwise uh, there may be errors uh, while displaying them over the map so let's start by uh, importing an image. We can click over here and it takes us to this uh, new window. We can select a new source file from our desktop. Let's just import this TIFF file. And as you can see that uh, the name of this TIFF file is automatically imported in the asset name. Let's just keep it as it is. We can add property. We can add any property if we want uh, to this image. Let's just keep it as it is. And just click on upload. And then uh, you can see that the tasks uh, tab is highlighted. And this shows uh, that the image is currently being uploaded onto the platform. Uh, this gives us the time that uh, has already elapsed. Uh, and whether uh, this task has been completed or not. So let's just wait for the uh, image to get uploaded. Right, so now as you can see the image is completely uploaded and what we can do is go over to the assets tab, refresh it and there is our uh, TIFF file which we just imported. Let's import it in the code as well and then rename it to hub underscore dam so this is basically a tiff file of the hub dam in synth and let's just add this layer onto the map and now if we uh, run this code we can see that the layer is being computed but we cannot uh, like visualize it on the map because the map is currently zoomed in over Islamabad so instead of manually going over to uh, the region of that TIFF file we can command uh, this within the code by map dot center object and then passing in the object which we want the map to be centered over we will pass this hub dam we will run it once again and then it hopefully just takes us over that region automatically there it is and there is our tiff file uh, displayed over the map right so now we know how to uh, import uh, an image or a tiff file uh, into the google earth engine now let's take a look at how to do the same with the shape files or the vector data. Uh, simply click on this shape files tab, select the source files. So we have these polygons of the Sargoda and Gujranwala district. We'll import them one by one. This is being renamed to Sargoda polygon. Upload it. And there is the task. 
and yes it has started uploading in meanwhile we can upload the other polygon as well and these are the shape files for Gujranwala let's upload them as well right and now we will wait for both of these uh, table or shape files to get uploaded on to the Google Earth engine now as you can see that both of the shape files have been uploaded let's refresh the assets tab and there are the polygons we will import them uh, within our code and rename these to Gujranwala polygon and Sargoda polygon respectively okay and now we can simply add these polygons onto the map Gujramala polygon and then adding in the Sargoda polygon in a different layer and maybe we can also pass in uh, the line to center the map over one of these new polygons let's just center it over Sargoda polygon now we can run this code and take a look at what the map outputs you can see over here that all of the three layers are being computed at the same time and there is the polygon over Gujranwala, there is the polygon of Sargoda and the map is centered over the Sargoda polygon so now you know how to import uh, a vector file within uh, the Google Earth engine or how to import a raster or a GeoTIFF file uh, within the engine to perform calculations on it to manipulate it to calculate indices over it now the next step would be to learn how to export any of the vector or raster data which we uh, might create or manipulate within this platform we can go over to this documentation tab and see there is uh, there are four uh, different export options we can export an image export the entire map export a table or a shape file or export uh, uh, the image collection in a video format so what we are interested in right now is exporting images or exporting tables and when we open the export image tab there are four different export image functions uh, you can either export the image directly onto your computer you can export the image to the assets tab of this project you can export it to a cloud storage or you can export it to uh, Google Drive directly so let's just try exporting the image directly first and we can write export.image and then pass in the image which we want to export and then we can repeat this same step for exporting a table as well the same four options are there for exporting table or exporting shape files as well so we can write export dot table and then pass in the Gujranwala polygon or pass in the uh, Sargoda polygon now you might have noticed that the line is being uh, highlighted by the earth engine and what it says is that export dot image is deprecated so you might want to use export.image.2 drive or export.image.2 cloud storage instead so we can do that as well we can directly export the image to our google drive we'll just add dot to drive uh, in the front we can comment out the uh, export table at the moment and just see how the image is being exported we will run this code you can see uh, in the task that it has created a my export image task and all we need to do is just click on the uh, run button next to it 
this will pop up this window we can rename this to hub underscore dam as well as we can uh, change the scale the meter per pixel from 1000 to let's just say 10 meters per pixel and then the file name can be uh, changed to hub underscore dam we'll keep the format as geotiff for this and then just simply click on run so it will start running the export task which was created in the last step and once this task has been completed we can actually uh, verify that the image has been successfully exported by opening up our drive and there you can see that the tiff file for the hub dam has been exported and here it is and with this we have completed our uh, tutorial on importing and exporting raster and vector data uh, within google earth engine